You know, I can always tell the difference between somebody who's actually studied this book of the Bible and somebody who's merely just went to church and listened to whatever they taught him at the church. In the video where I was discussing that this God uh, committed a sin and had to repent, therefore this God is not all good. This God um, demonstrates that it can sin and therefore there is evil within this God, among a bunch of other reasons why we suggest that. This gentleman said that, well, most of the time when you read the Bible, it's talking about angels. It's not talking about God actually coming down, which demonstrates that you haven't really studied this book. You see, when you read this book, anytime it is capital L-O-R-D, this is indicating the God, the God of the Bible. Nobody else but the God of the Bible. So in the case where this God had to repent from his evil ways, which uh, can be just as your Jesus said, even the thinking of it of the mind makes it evil. I'm going to talk about repenting a little bit based on another person's comment. Let's go over Numbers 14 to which is in. So to set the tone of what's going on here in Numbers 14, you got that Caleb and some other spies had just got back from looking at the city of Jericho. They was like, oh, we can't take it. But Caleb was like, we can take them. We can take them. And then the Israelites were grumbling and complaining. And you're going to bring us out here. But then it, you get into verse 10 of 14. It says, but the whole assembly talked about stoning them. Then the glory of the capital, L-O-R-D, all caps, the glory of the Lord appeared at the tent of meetings to all the Israelites. The capital, all caps, Lord said to Moses, so this is mean, this is your God. This is the God of the Bible talking. How long will these people treat me with contempt? How long will they refuse to believe in me in spite of all the signs I have performed among them? I will strike them down with a plague and destroy them. But I will make you into a nation greater and stronger than they. Moses said to the all caps, Lord, the Egyptians will hear about it. By your power, you brought these people up from up from among them, and they will tell the inhabitants of the land about it. They have already heard that the all caps Lord. Uh, they have already heard that the Lord are with these people and that and that you, Lord, all caps. Have been have been seen face to face. That your cloud stays over them and that you go before them in a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. If you put all these people to death, leaving none alive, the nations who have heard this report about you will say the Lord was not able to bring them to bring to bring these people into the land. He promised to promise them on oath. So he slaughtered them in the wilderness. Now, may the Lord strength. All, well, now, this is not all caps. Now, now, may the Lord strength, because it's talking about an attribute. Be displayed just as you have declared the all caps, the all caps. Lord is slow to anger, abounding in love and forgiveness, forgiving sin and rebellion. Yet he does not leave the guilty unpunished. He punishes the children for their sins, of, for the sins of the parents to the third and fourth generation, which is whack as hell. In accordance with your great love. Forgive the sin of these people just as you have pardoned them from the time they left Egypt unto now. And then your God said, and the Lord replied, all, replied, all caps, I have forgiven them as you asked. Nevertheless, as surely as I live and as surely as the glory of the Lord fills the whole earth, not one of those who saw the, my glory and the signs I performed in Egypt and in the wilderness, but who dis, disobeyed me will, but but who disobeyed me and tested me ten times, not one of them will ever see the land I promised on oath to their ancestors. Not one who has treated me with contempt will ever see it. So, except for Caleb. So basically, for all intents and purposes for your part of this video, sir, this deity is talking about your God. It's not talking about an angel. So study it and make sure you know what, you, what the difference between the two. Capital, all caps, Lord is the God. None, all caps, is not the God. Now, this also showed that this guy had the intent of killing all these people. But then Moses did the okie doke on him, the reverse psychology. And then 
because of that, he then decided that he had to repent from his mental state of what his intentions were. And another person wanted to talk about repentance. So my man here, in order to justify his deity being able to in, in have evil within him and have to repent and, and be in sin, because I know other parts of the Bible contradict that and say that your God cannot be where there is sin nor can he sin. But you say repent does not mean he sinned, dude. To repent means to turn away, not to admit that you have done wrong. To admit that you have done wrong is to confess of such wrongs. Your God in this story confessed that he was wrong to want to kill all the kids, all the children of Israel. He confessed that he needed to do something different, change of mind, change of state. So then he did something different. So what does the word repent mean? It means to be grieved over one's past and seek forgiveness. Feel such regret for sin, crimes, or omissions as produce amendments of life. Meaning the difference between regret and repent, repentance is that repentance is so deep that it causes a fundamental change in your attitude or fundamental change in your course of life. So you might need to learn what repentance actually means. Now, any and everywhere in your Bible where it talks about repenting, it means you are doing something completely opposite, different from what you are were previously doing that required the repentance. You know, I will tell you this. Christians will consistent, are consistent in finding new ways to redefine this book, this God, based on their cultural beliefs and whatever narrative they wanted to fit. You have a great day. And always remember, you got to free yourself to be yourself. Because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibration.